Well, it's absolutely clear that the United States is trying to advance uh, new NATO-like uh, alliances in Asia against China. It's also clear that uh, the United States has been trying to push NATO to expand its interest, to expand its remit, to confront China. And it's clear that both Beijing and, and, and Moscow are very much opposed to this. Now, the thing that really struck me about this uh, uh, meeting, uh, there was one, one term in one of the Chinese uh, uh, official statements that, uh, that this meeting uh, demonstrates that the relationship between uh, China and Russia has gone beyond bilateral. And that's a very compelling uh, description. And, and I look for, you know, other, other aspects that try to explain what this means. We see terms like uh, strategic coordination. Now, if we, if we look at what other countries have this kind of uh, maybe beyond bilateral relationship, the, the, the first one that comes to mind, I think, is uh, the, the U.S. has what it calls a special relationship uh, with the United Kingdom. But in this case, we know that uh, China and Russia have both stressed that this is not a military alliance. And I think the, the coordination here is of, of several sorts, uh, obviously uh, increasing trade uh, and perhaps large-scale development projects like the possible uh, gas pipeline that would cross uh, uh, Mongolia, um, but uh, also in, in terms of uh, opposing sanctions, uh, unilateralism, uh, coordinating uh, some shared concerns on the Security Council, um, calling for an investigation of the Nord Stream uh, uh, destruction. Uh, and now, of course, I, I think the, the biggest story is promoting uh, a diplomatic resolution to the crisis in Ukraine.